Hello, I am delighted to share the research on millets in our lab. We have a small group actively working on the improvement of millets these days, especially to conserve the food and nutrient security. Millets, these are the group of small seeded cereal plants majorly grown and consumed by the less developed nations in Africa and Asia. Millets include more than six types of seeded cereal crops. These include finger millet, Foxtail millet, PL millet, Coda millet, Barnyard millet, Little millet, and so on. These millets are having superior nutrients in their seeds and compared to other major cereals like rice and wheat. For example, finger millet, important millet having exceptionally high content of calcium in its seeds when compared to other major cereals. Even the calcium content it is higher than that of milk which is believed to alleviate all the calcium deficiency related issues in the poor people living in Asia and Africa. Since calcium is a major source required for bone and teeth development. Apart from having rich source of nutrients, millets are also known for the climate hard behavior. Unlike other major cereals, they need very less input of fertilizer and nutrient for growth and production. They are often called as climate smart crops, which are believed to conserve the food security in sub-Saharan Africa and Asia, especially considering the fast changing the global climate. At the end of climate change, we won't be having expected climate savory season. There will be lack of water and countries like Africa and Asian low-income countries could not afford to buy the fertilizers. So it's very difficult to meet the food demand, especially by 2050, the population is expected to reach 9 billion. So we need to find alternative ways to improve the food production. So millets are considered as the crops of the future, considering their climate uh, smart agriculture and also the nutrient rich seeds. So here we are conducting research to improve the millets, especially to identify the traits involved with the climate resilience properties. For example, one set of experiment is going on in which our scholars are involved in dictating some formulated nutrients lacking one or two key nutrients. Such a way we can be able to find the tolerance mechanism of our millets so that we can tap those mechanisms to improve the millets further to grow under low nutrient soils and also transfer such key traits into non-millet cereals like rice and wheat. Uh, especially in the long run, rice may not have that much nutrient like finger millet. By using all modern genetic and uh, genome editing techniques, we can transfer such traits from the millet to non-millet crops like rice, so by which we can definitely conserve the food and nutrient security in the future. Thank you.